Oh, we got news coming in. Tonight's game has been postponed due to weather. Rescheduled as a traditional doubleheader tomorrow at 410. So tonight's game, everything gets pushed back, Jack, to a seven inning or two seven inning doubleheaders. Ninth postponement of the year for the Yankees and all the numbers that we just gave you now apply. They'll play three doubleheaders in the next five days. They have 35 games in their next 33 days. Look for them to start Cole and Tanaka in this doubleheader tomorrow. But I'll keep using the same word Aaron Boone does. It's a challenge. This is a challenging season schedule wise. But if you want to reach the mountaintop, as the Yankees say that they do, you need to focus on your goals and what's in front of you. And if you get thrown curveballs constantly as they have had thrown at them, you have to adjust. What do you do when you get a curveball? You just keep fouling it off, right? You spoil it. And for Garrett Cole, he gets pushed back a day, one more day. But again, you want to talk about glass half empty, glass half full. He didn't get heated up tonight. Neither did Ian Anderson. So both of those pitchers ready to go tomorrow as opposed to going out, getting the gun hot, and then getting shut down. Right. That's always the barometer. Did a starting pitcher start to warm up? Because you don't want that to happen. And in this instance, you're right, Bob. It didn't happen. The teams are communicating with each other and the umpires. They want to make sure that someone is not warming up half an hour before a game that might be postponed. And that's exactly what happened. So we'll get a chance to see Cole tomorrow against the Braves. Eager to see what Aaron Boone does with him in this game. Built up his pitch count to his last start to 109. So we'll see how much more flexibility Boone does give him in the pitch count department. With everything that's happened to the team, and I'll just speak for the Yankees so far this season with the doubleheaders, with the COVID interruptions, with the COVID interruption this past week where they didn't play for five total days, Jack, do you think it's almost a mentality instead of, oh, this is horrible, it's setting us back, that it's like, hey, whatever, we'll see you tomorrow. You know, it almost makes it easier. I think it needs to be the latter. I think it needs to be a survive and advance mentality, almost as if you're playing in an NCAA tournament where you win, you advance. In this instance, it's you get through the day and you advance. If the day doesn't include nine innings of baseball, you still need to be prepared for whatever the day brings you tomorrow. It's very easy for you and I to sit here and say that, Bob. It's much more difficult when you're a team that was geared up, ready to play today, and then suddenly the tarp never comes off the field. But the Yankees have veteran leadership in that clubhouse. Boone has harped on this from day one when summer camp began about not letting the season overwhelm you or overcome you. And I think the Yankees are prepared for whatever's thrown at them. All right, so that is going to wrap up our coverage for now. But we want to remind you we have two games coming up tomorrow here on yes they will begin at four o'clock the game itself our coverage will begin at three o'clock with the batting practice show 3 30 pregame so jack these these teams just lock it down in atlanta right now and they get ready for two tomorrow and you have to wait one more day if you're a yankee fan to see aaron judge back in that batter's box but good news is the fact that he is back. Missed eight games with that calf strain, but that lineup looks a little more complete with Judge. It's still missing some other big bats, but having Judge back is a huge positive.